And that that's a perfect transition into so now you guys have lost you know you lost your label representation and everything so you're coming back to Seattle and you're recording the short. Yeah. And so after so now you've been through the tour you've been through the MTV video you've lost you, you know so was there's a, there's what a part was missing the in there. Well, oh go ahead. Um, fucking Cliff Coltrane was he was he got moved to be the vice president of uh, combat. Or relativity, mm-hmm. and I he was out shopping another band, and I had actually went and saw the band the day before, and they just sucked, man. And this is right about when our third option was due to re, to be. Uh, re, re, I don't know how to what to say. When the, what, renewed, or yeah, renewed. Let's renew, renew our third, third, renew our th- third option. I remember because Combat was re-releasing like all those compilations, like even like Death and Dark Angel and stuff. They, all their albums suddenly went out of print, and right. they re-released like those best ofs. Yeah, and that was I, I right about those times. Anyway, but uh, and, and also at the time we had uh, before, right like right immediately before I found out that he was shopping these guys, looking at them, uh, we had a tour lined up with Cannibal Corpse and Carcass. Okay. Another six week tour, we could have gone out, and we tried to get the uh, label to give us label support, you know, uh, some tour support, mm-hmm. so we could at least get out there, you know, five six grand, so we could rent a fucking RV or something, a van, mm-hmm. to go on the tour with these guys, and they're like, nope. We just paid thirty thousand dollars for COC to get on the Iron Maiden tour. We don't have any more money. Sorry. So yeah. you got to fuck. So we were fucked. And then I find out that this guy's fucking shopping. So I'm with Jeff Gilbert, and I corner him crossing the street. I'm like, dude, what's the deal, man? And he's just looking at me like, oh, well, I'm just checking it out, whatever. So I just bounce. A few days later, we went to our attorney and uh, asked him. We asked him that, or relatively at KVD, I guess. We said we knew the third option will release us. We gave them the option, you know. So it wasn't like we they dropped us off the label. It was really we left the label ultimately. Okay. okay. So yeah, fuck you labels. <laughs> anyway, but that's what happened. And um, so okay, now back to where we were with so the short. So you self financed the short. Is yeah, that- we thought we would get picked up pretty quick. We uh, we were working with this girl, this lady, um, Susie. She had some good ideas, and uh, we so. We went to re-record or to record our, some of our new songs. I thought well, we were going to shop it around and try to get a deal. We even went through changing our name, I think, kind of to Bullneck, which was, that was fucking dumb anyway. I never liked that anyway. But it was an idea. Yeah, it was an idea that went pretty far in the idea process. <laughs> I mean, it was almost there, but uh, we didn't really we didn't really go for it, you know. Like shocked our shit. We recorded the, the shore. It's just. It's kind of a piece of crap, really. I mean, I listen to that, and like I listen to other bands, I'd be like, ah, oh, that sucks. There's a couple songs I really think rock, came out good. I really like Soul Train. Soul I, Train I, and I, Soar, those are the two best on the song, yeah. I think. My Asthma was a really killer song, but it didn't, it was way better live, way heavier. It didn't translate to that recording well, you know, it just didn't come out as heavy as it is. And, well, uh, and Soul Train was kind of a different approach. I mean, that chorus is, uh, that chanting chorus was, I mean, you could tell you guys were. I really, I, the first time I heard it, I was a little bit like you. I was like, ah, oh, man, I don't know. But then after a couple of listens, your riffs were really starting to stand out to me. And then that, like, chanting chorus for Soul Train, I'm starting to go, you know what, this is just different. I mean, you right. can kind of see them starting to progress, you know. And it has to be different. Yeah. No. Our, our, and we did right. that consciously. I mean, we, didn't, we, we knew that if we kept playing the same stuff, nothing was going to happen. You know? right. So we were, we were consciously trying to progress. Mm-hmm. I think. Yeah, well, we, 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 we. If you listen to our albums, man, none of our songs, even though it's the same kind of sound, none of them really sound the same. That was one thing we always try to stay on top of, you know, that we're not writing a whole album that sounds, the songs sound the same. So. Right. And as we wrote, we always try to, you know, keep that in mind. You know, we don't want our stuff sounding exactly like the last stuff. Yeah. So. Yeah, because, I mean, As Above, So Below, I mean, was a definite progression from Uncertain Future, and so, yeah. yeah Which is you, weird, because I think uh, head, head, As Above, So Below is just head and shoulders above Uncertain Future, but a lot of a lot of people are really, Uncertain Future is dear to their heart, man. Yeah. The tone is so crappy, and there's all the album the solos, and I'm just like, really? Are you kidding me, man? <laughs> it was, you know, it would have been... It would it would have been a fun exercise to re-record the first album and redo, redo it right. Right. That yeah. Been cool. Yeah. Absolutely. I, I actually had thought to myself. Now, um, 
uh, according to the liner notes of the re-release, uh, August 25th, 1995, at uh, Seattle Center Mural Amphitheater, that was kind of the last show. Yeah, it was. It was the last show. It was yeah. the last show. Well, there were some reunion shows. We did one, re one reunion one. show. And how? And, and now I didn't get this on camera, just just to let you guys know. So I mean, just to get we'll your statement. Um, but was there ever given any thought to? Getting a live album out there. No, there was uh, no. I never thought about it. I never thought about it either. Yeah. Never even crossed my mind. Yeah. I don't like. I, I don't like. I, I do. Man. I Tony, did you guys ever think about maybe playing another? Yeah. Or, you know, because I mean, I'd be there so fast. Yeah, Matt, Louis, you know, the old Cole's too busy, man. He's too busy. Got a job. Well, and it sounds like Tony's really busy too. Tony's obviously, really since he's not too. here. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and not, you know, I'm not ruling it out. Definitely not ruling it out. So the last couple of questions really are just, what's your favorite force entry memory? First, Colin. Favorite force entry memory? Uh, I don't know. They're, I can't. I can't really pick one. Now. But I think. Um, I think probably one of the highlights was. Uh, because, I mean, we played so good. I remember playing really good. Some of the, some of the paint on the crash shows were some of my favorite things. Sure, yeah. Going to fucking Tinsley's Tavern afterwards. Yeah. That before. That before. <laughs> Is that you too? Your favorite memory? No, my fa I, I would have to, if I had to pick one favorite memory, I'd have to say, God, it's a fucking tough one too, because I liked all the tour and shit like that. But I'd say my favorite memory would be when we got done playing the Lake City Concert Hall, and I looked out, and there were fucking four rows of theater seats so just like, black. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's the, right. that was a good memory. And watching those fucking walk out of the novel one, that was great, too. <laughs> and last question, each one of you, what is your personal favorite Force Entry song? Fuck back to Fuck back to that's a good oh, that's, just, it's just, that's my favorite song. That's our signature move right there. It's badass. It's so fucking sick, man. It's fucking fast and slow. And, uh, there's so many different tones in it. The fucking soul is cool. The drums are cool. The lyrics are fucking rad. The singing's awesome. And, yeah, it's definitely, that's, that's my favorite song. We love you, Tony. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> Well, I want to thank you guys for showing up. I really, really appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been so fun. And I, I just hope that maybe this is a motivation for maybe some future games because I know if you guys got together I'm right, motivated, right dude. now. I know if you guys got together it's right this now. This motherfucker and that other motherfucker. I'm in it. <laughs> I'd say if we went at once a week for three hours a day, for three hours that day, like we had a Saturday and we did that every Saturday, even every other Saturday. It takes us ten practices, man. <laughs> ten to get to fucking bare minimum. And that's also practicing your ass off at home. Yeah, that's yeah. Well fortunately that, I mean we know the songs, so uh, you know, it's fucking it's not like it's not like you're like in a cover band trying to learn forty fucking songs and you know you gotta learn all the orders and arrangements. I mean, those are all kind of stuck in your head. Mm -hmm. But but there's no doubt about it. It's practicing. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I mean, I, when I was young and skinny, I used to fucking lose five pounds. Yeah. There it was still hard. It was still fucking hard. That's right. Golden fat. Yeah, that's right. Well, I, I just want to close by saying again, I, I told Brad this before you come here. My best friend turned me on to you guys um, about a year afterwards. You guys have been my very first favorite. Because my brother from another, about a year after he turned me on to you guys, he got caught in the home, and he never even got to see the second album. Never got here from that uh, side, that would have blown his ass away. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and uh, I loved him dearly, and so when I get together, even just seeing you guys and hearing you guys, music, it is something very personal for me. And I really appreciate the fact that you guys came down here and just decided to bring this with me. Yeah, so, my pleasure, man. I love it. I love doing this shit. I, I, I just love doing this shit, man. All right. Cool. Thank you all for tuning in. Hey, fucking <laughs> Perfect.